Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting, so let's get started. We'll start off today with some black acrylic on a paper towel. And I want to make the bottom part of this canvas black. So we'll just rub it right in. With a two inch brush and a little bit of blue. And we'll come right up here and drop in a nice sky. Now as you can see I had that black acrylic on there and then after that dried I put some blue and green oil paint on top of that. So that's all we've done. With the one inch brush and some white we can add a tiny cloud up here. I'm looking more for the light area not so much for a shape. Just want a little bit of white up here. Then we'll grab a clean brush and blend the whole sky with some blue and green and white on a two inch brush we can tap in a big mountain up here I don't want this too dark because this is very far away and this is kind of a different way to paint a mountain and I want all the edges here to be kind of fuzzy not sharp it makes the mount mountain look very soft and far away. Now I'll go back to that same color, this time with less white. And I want to put another mountain in front of this one. So we'll just tap it right in. And you see, because it's a little bit darker, it stands out. It looks separate. So there's two mountains here. Now I'll load up the fan brush with a little bit of dark green. And I want to paint a couple of small pine trees back here. I'm just going to touch with the brush and work back and forth, shaping each little limb. And maybe there's another one right here. Let them grow together. We can even pull up with the brush to create thousands of little trees very far away with a little bit of blue and white on the fan brush we can drop in a little bit of water back here just letting that fan brush run back and forth and maybe we want a waterfall we'll just light on top and dark on the bottom so I take the brush pull it through dark flip it over and pull it through light. And then we can add some rocks back here. Not too many rocks. We just need a few. Maybe there's one that right here. With the fan brush and some black and brown and green, we can make some trees up here. Now, most of the black is already in. So all we have to do is kind of pick out where we want them and make a little top for them. I'm using the corner of the brush and I'm tapping down. There we go. We're not worried about this dark area in there. That's already dark. When you're done with the left side, then you can hop right over here to the right side. And I'm still doing the same thing. And I've, I've made a couple of these trees that you can't see the top. They extend right off the canvas. Kind of changes them up. So they all don't start where we can see them. Some of them grow right off. Now with a one inch brush and a little bit of white, we can add tiny little bit of mist down here at the bottom of the waterfall. We don't need too much. We'll just tap in a little bit, not too bright. And we'll mix with some of that green and the blue we put down. And it'll help it from being too white. Otherwise it'd be way too bright. With the two inch brush, we can blend this out with tiny circles. Don't destroy it. 
Just soften it a little. See how it picks up some of that blue and green. And you can make another layer of mist. Just like that. See, leave a little bit of that dark showing. And it'll give you a separate layer. And blend this one out. With a little bit of white on the fan brush, we can add in some water down here. I'm just letting that brush kind of slide right along, leaving some dark areas. And maybe we want, maybe we want something that comes like that. Maybe a tiny waterfall with a little bit of yellow and green on the fan brush we can highlight these trees I'm just tapping the brush and leaving a lot of dark and let the tree get darker as it comes down toward the bottom less highlight down here There we go. Leave a lot of dark. With the knife and a little bit of brown, we can add in a cliff right here. And we'll come back and highlight it in just a second. With a nice gray on the knife, we can add in a little bit of highlight to this rock. But I want to keep it very dark. So just a little bit. With the one inch brush and a little bit of yellow and green, we can tap in a few little bushes down here. I'm using just the corner of the brush, and I want to leave a lot of the dark in these bushes. Maybe to kind of grow down the cliff there. There we go. Make sure you leave a lot of that dark. It's so important. Leave most of the dark. 